So these are called the four foundations of mindfulness. If you'd like to, it is the main teaching of the Buddha. It's the one he used when he attained his awakening. Mindfulness of breathing is associated with this teaching. If you'd like to Google it, um, you can put in your search engine, Sati Patana, S-A-T-I, P-A-T-T, H-A-N-A. That's S-A-T-I, P-A-T-T, H-A-N-A. Sati means mindfulness, and Patana means to establish a foundation. To establish a foundation, Patana. <coughs> this is in Pali, this language, P-A-L-I. It's the language of the Buddha. It's the close derivative of the language the Buddha has spoken. He's spoken a language called Mugad. This is thought to be a very, very close approximation. But this is the seminal teaching. This is the main practice. Um, you can get a book on this on these, this subject, Four Foundations of Mindfulness. If you'd like, um, I would recommend uh, there's a Sri Lankan monk who's lived in America for about 50 years now. Um, Gunaratana. How do you say? Gunaratana is... Um, well, Bhante, B-H-A-N-T-E. And then Guna Ratana is G-U-N-E-R-A-T-A-N-A. -A -A. Bhante Guna Ratana. Bhante means teacher in Sri Lankan. It's like Ajahn in Thai, if you're familiar. So Bhante Guna Ratana, G-U-N-E-R-A-T-A-N-A. Classically trained monk in Sri Lanka. He was sent here, I think, back in the 60s, I believe. So he has a place in West Virginia. If you don't want to go on retreat there, if you want to try something different than our retreats, but I think it's more or less the same from what everyone, or pretty similar from what everyone's told us. Except I speak in plain English. <laughs> so he's, he's, his English is actually really good. But nice accent, though. Um, So the first foundation, of the four foundations, mindfulness of body. Mindful of body. So these four foundations of mindfulness, um, they have, there's 16 instructions that go along with them. So there's four instructions for each one. So we call them the four tetrads. The four tetrads. Anything with four is what? A tetrad. So, for mindfulness of body, there's four instructions. For mindfulness of feeling tones, there are four instructions. That's the second foundation, mindfulness of feeling tones. The third foundation is called mindfulness of mind, or mindfulness of mental states. Chitta Nupasana. Mindfulness of mind, and then the fourth foundation is called mindfulness of objects of mind. Mindfulness of objects of mind. And there are four instructions that go along with each, but we're not going to go through all of those today. But if you'd like to look them up online, or if you'd like to listen to me teach about them, uh, we have, I think, I know we have like, I think, some, Andre, how many videos? Like a thousand? Something? Yeah, a thousand videos online, and I think two or three thousand audio talks from dating back to like 2000, I believe. So this is a really common theme for me to teach and been teaching forever, it seems like. Um, but uh, so if you'd like to listen to those, you're certainly welcome to if you want to get into the depths of it. But um, when you do your practice, the very first thing out of the gate, out of the head and into the body, out of the head and into the body. Because again, that time context, if you think of I mean, what you're doing all day, You've got about twenty to 30,000 thoughts, right? Each day on average. Um, most of those thoughts are unintentional. Like you didn't plan on having them. They just keep on what? Just, they just keep on, keep on rolling. And you can see that in meditation practice, right? It's like, people, and people say, all, I mean, and I really want you to get a, a hold of, or a hang of some of this, that people come in here and say, I can't stop thinking. I'm like, I know. I mean, it's, you have a brain. That's what the brain does. It just mm -hmm. makes thoughts. 
if you're not, th people come in here, they don't want to think, and it's just like, then you don't, then you might as well, what? Yeah. Just end it, because I mean, it's like, I mean, you're going to be thinking until when? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like, and don't worry about it. It's like, thoughts aren't the problem. That's what you're trying to learn here. Thoughts are not the problem. Emotions are not the problem. Sensations are not the problem. Do you get that? Because you just did all of this. They're not the problem. I swear, thinking is not a problem. You're a human. You need to think. I mean, imagine like walk, trying to walk around the world without thoughts. Try to do anything without thinking. Your thinking is the subjective reality that you experience. It's very important. Your, th your thoughts are the subjective reality that you experience. Your thoughts, your emotions, sensate experiences. What else do you experience? The four foundations cover the, the kaleidoscope of experience. That's what, it's all possible experience. It's your body, breath, sensate experiences called feeling tones, mental states. What else do you experience? Yeah. Touch. Huh? Touch. Sensate. Any takers on any of them? Is there anything else that you could... This is called, in, in Christ, if we were doing Christianity, we would call this gnosis, right? Knowledge. You know, what, in, what the four foundations represent is what is knowable for each of you as a subjective experience in any given moment. What is knowable? So when people ask about, well, what's, what's going on out there independent of your mind? And I'm like, how would you, how would you know? And this is why you're here. He wants a little uh, lady just, I mean, just pepper me with questions yesterday. Um, I had a, like somehow like 20 extra spare minutes and I went back and forth with her, which rarely happens, you know, online. And we're going back and forth. And um, she's like, what about spirits? And what about your soul? And what about, I'm like, I, and she was very frustrated with my response. I'm like, I don't know. I only deal with what I, no. what's knowable. She goes, well, don't you believe? And I'm like, I don't talk about, look, I don't talk about, and I'm encouraging you not to try and talk about, not that you don't have an imagination, of course, sure you do, so do I, I'm vivid, apparently, um, but, <laughs> according to yesterday's post, so, um, <laughs> right, so, um, but beyond, you know, beyond, like, what's, you know, what do you, and like, what are you grasping onto? She's like, what do you think about, you know, what's going to happen after you die, and I'm like, when you get there, you will no. know. No. Like, and leave the rest of it the fuck alone. Okay? Just stop. She's like, but don't you wonder? And I'm like, no. I used to. Now I just live right... I live here. You know? It's, uh, I, mean, I already went to school for philosophy and Buddhist studies. And I, like, and I left with those degrees going like this. I still don't know if I can know. And anyone who says that, they do. And then she immediately got on, well, I read so-and-so online says he's enlightened. I'm like, I don't know. You get that? What do you think about that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I do know what's in, when I was a monk, what's in our vows, which is stay away from people who claim that they're enlightened. Because they can't what? No, you can't know. I don't know what they know. <laughs> I don't know. And I also know they can't prove it. So we're having to, believe, listen to this, we would have to believe their claims based on what? What they say. No. No, no. Not what they say. What your experience of, see, I'm just trying to catch you on mindfulness. Just, you're, you're, come on, I'm telling you, what is knowable is what you think, feel, and emote. And she's like, well, you sound really, like, sure of yourself. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I know what I know, and I know what I, and I leave it clean. It's a very, like, easy life. <laughs> really, I, I, that's, that's it. I know, you see how, like, unconfusing all of this is? You deal with what's present and what you know. Four foundations, like your foundation, think ground. Sa in Tibetan, like la sa. Sa, ground, Lhasa, ground of the gods. It's named after this subject matter. Bhumi in Sanskrit. Sa, ground yourself in awareness. Mindful of what? Body is the first one. Because why? Because most of your thinking is about which time context? 
No. Past or present. Now, all of the, all of the, everything is actually, all the thoughts about past or present are actually what? Taking place when? No. Right, but the thoughts are about past or the present. You got that? This is not difficult. So that means that you're lost basically almost all of the time in some sort of an illusion. Thoughts about the everywhere but where? Where you actually are. So in the first part of the practice, attention out of your head is a consequence of this. Out of your head and where? Into your body. Feeling. This whole practice is about feeling. Not about thinking. So the first foundation, out of your head, into the body. Breathing in, breathing out. Because that takes place in which time context? The breath. <clears throat> Up until when? The moment, the moment you die. And it's been there since the moment of <clears throat> conception. Really, it's just... You just come in, you're grounding. You just get that ground, sa, boomy. Grounding your awareness in the present moment again and again. Cool?